Hey guys, here we are with season one, episode three of Gen V. And in the last episode, um, so it was like the aftermath of Luke and Professor Brink's situation. Um, well, I guess murder. Uh, and Luke hit a phone in Andre's dad's statue. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. <laughs> Um, and so Andre got his dad's, the, the phone out of the dad's statue and, um, Luke put a video on there basically like asking him to, um, protect his brother, Sam. We found out that Sam was the one that had escaped from the first episode and, um, he's like being tortured in their basement that they I guess they call the woods I don't know other than like what looks to be like experimentation I'm not sure what else is going on down there um and of course the dean is in on it uh so and the dean is trying to get really close with uh Marie and so I'm sure she's trying to like influence her somehow so yeah and then Marie um because of the whole situation with Luke and the fact that like Jordan is the one that fought Luke and everything. Um, Marie was the one that basically took credit for it. And now she feels bad because she took credit for it when she wasn't the one who did it, but she's looking out for herself. But I know that she's going to eventually come around to the fact of like helping out Andre and Kate with, the whole like Luke situation because like that's what she was really going into the crime fighting thing for was to do stuff like that um, I think it's just going to take her a little bit to recognize that and then I don't know what's going on with Emma um, I'm not sure it looked like she was purging again at the end of the last episode but I'm not sure like what she was doing so um, yeah I think that's pretty much it big things uh andre did he followed some guards down like where it looked like where the woods was or were is anyway so <laughs> he did that he saw one of the guards kill like a janitor or something like that and then he was it looked like was gonna end up getting killed and then kate saved him i'm not sure if they're gonna end up being a love interest for each other or not that's kind of what it looked like in the at the end of the last episode but i guess she calls she calls it pushing what she does with other people um, and I guess she was, she pushed too much that day and she ended up like having, I think she was having a seizure or something like that. So yeah. Um, anyway, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. When did it start? Four or five minutes ago. Okay, so this is the past, obviously. Ew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like three years ago. I could have just been... Normal? Regular. Ooh. Sam! Sam! Stop it! Okay, no! He shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's his fist. Oh shit. Sam, go to sleep. <laughs> uh, the blue one's on the left. Thanks. What you do is stupid, Kate. You could have given yourself a fucking aneurysm. What, what are your pills for? for you? Thank you, Kate, for having the brilliant idea to ping my phone and then save me from my stone cold idiocy. For now, nothing. We lay low. Fuck that. No. Luke's brother is being tortured in this... whatever it is. Uh, no, Sam needs to get out and we need to get him out now. How? We can use our fucking powers. How did that work out for Luke? True. If you charge in there, you're going to get caught and then God knows what. And Kate, then Kate, you just have to stop and think about it for a Kate, second. You need to have no. a plan. Please don't do anything stupid. I can't lose you too. Oh, they're definitely, yeah. See what I say. I knew it was going to happen. Dang, 
that wasn't long for them to do something like that. Where's she at? Emma? How tiny did she get? I didn't even see where she was at. So... No, no, you know... That's just a tiny bit fucked. A tiny isn't bit? A <laughs> nice choice of words. Okay, I've been through this Lifetime movie before, so I'll just play the trailer. No, it's not an eating disorder. It's how I get small. Talk to someone, get help. Okay, and you cut yourself. Are you gonna mm -hmm. take a break? Get help? That's different. That's my power. So is hers. Thank you. Uh, is anyone using purple and orange? Lupus. Fucking work with me, Janet. I mean, what else are you supposed to do? I'm sorry. My daughter loved these. You have a daughter? Ad. I did. I wanted to tell you Shocker. after the interview last night. I'm so proud of you, Marie. It was on purpose, by the way. Who knows if it was even true? What? Why? Because it's better ratings if you cry on camera. But you didn't let her get to you. Stay tough, shake poise. Thanks. And what a bitch. Oh, huge bitch. That's probably true. I don't know what it is. Like, something <laughs> about her makes you want to like her. But, like, we know that she's not good. I had no right to co-opt your story. Okay, I apologize. But why did she get small in the first place? You filming this? I want everyone to know how sorry I am. Uh-huh. I saw that skinny bitch's YouTube on you. How are you doing? I had better days. Well, she was fired from Fatal Seduction, because apparently her acting's for shit, if that helps. <laughs> it doesn't. Wait, she was? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> yes. I know Luke wasn't. No, that's just it. You didn't know Luke. How I funny think, he but was, I think anybody in her family. position pretty much would have done the same thing as her. But she's a great on so like black and white, do they? I really am sorry. This can't be real. Must have been so when he so found out that he died. I'm so sorry. Doesn't make sense. He would have never killed himself. Mm hmm. I should have been there. Tell me to feel better. Aww. I don't want to feel like this. Not like this, please. I think this is something you just have to go through. I'm sorry. Honey? Oh, uh, just that her a parents? second. Who is that? Fuck off. It's my parents. I didn't even finish. Jordan. Okay. Okay. Your favorite parent. Surprise. <laughs> Are you surprised? Surprised is a word that I'd use, yeah. Mm. We wanted to pay our respects to Brink tonight. So they want the man version of Jordan. I mean, so far it kind of looks like Jordan likes to be the female version. I can't, like... It just seems like every time we see Jordan, it's usually the female version. But, I mean, of course, there's times where it'll be the male version. But I wonder if that's who they prefer to be. I don't know. Maybe they like both. Your folks must be so proud. Oh, yeah. My dad's always bragging to the guys at his pickup games. <laughs> Are they here? Mm -hmm. No, they're both in Cameroon. Doctors Without Borders. To be frank, after this Golden Boy mess, I'm not sure how much I'm playing. They need to be like careful about how much she's going to lie about her parents, though, because that's probably going to make them out. If you want more like Marie, I'm just a freshman. Keep doing what you're doing. You could be the first top-ranked freshman in history. I still don't even really get the whole ranking system thing. Sorry, wait, really? Little cricket. Fun. Wholesome. Sunshine. Mm. But no one knew about the tragic underbelly. Sorry, tra tragic she's, underbelly. So she's it's selling the whole purge thing. Oh, it's a complete thing. and total rebrand, right? So Little Cricket's dead, R.I.P. Now it's me to Emma. You. Kyle Vogler, you have a fine kid. A real go-getter. Don't let him fool you. He was a holy terror as a boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. We're from Rochester. Where are you from, Kyle? 
Oh. How do you pee in it? <laughs> want me to run the water or something? I don't want to just be roommates. I want to be and friends. I don't pity you, like at all. I wish I was like you. You're fucking badass. And I, I know this is probably too little, too late, but I'd, I'd really like us to be. Aww. And on a toilet. <laughs> gonna start peeing now I, I don't know if i can if i can pee like this <laughs> there she goes oh absolutely um you're the star of the show of course we want to hear your notes okay so like maybe it doesn't have to be like like a cautionary tale or a she's ripped i mean it's exploiting me i think in the real world everybody uses everyone and I think that this wow, could help you. Her mom's you know, kind of fucked up. You know, she taught me how to do it. Oh. How to stick my fingers down my throat. Until I vomited bile. Hey. Is everything awkward between what, the two of them now? What, what are you doing? You're my firstborn son. The day you were born was the best day of my life. I thought we were giving you a gift with Compound V. You did give me a gift. Can we please not talk about this? For you, maybe. Damn. I'm Is no big. Every parent like fucked up in this I get situation. A lot of kids don't have a choice. But you do. You can be a boy forever if you want. Or be a girl forever. Sometimes I think you change into a girl just to spite me. Oh, stop. What are they doing down there? I mean, fuck, could they do that to us? Are we in danger? I mean, should we tell someone? I don't know what we'd say. All I got is this and what Luke told me before, some murder suicide, so not exactly credible. But what I do know is that we need to go down there and we need to find out where they have Luke's brother. Mm. But I can't do it without getting busted. So she needs but to be maybe. little. maybe. I love Emma, too. Okay, so the GPS tags connected to my phone. Remember, just recon, no tiny action hero shit. I think this is where they're keeping him, but if you see anything shady, just bail. I love Emma. Jordan and Emma, they're my favorite. Oh. Oh, damn. Like Marie Moreau, the guardian of Godolkin. That's right. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of happy so for her, but at the same time, it's a lie. Like her, the future she deserves. He plays a good villain. Brink didn't just hone my skills. He sharpened my mind. He turned me into the curious, intelligent man I am today. He considers himself intelligent. <laughs> There's some fucked up shit going on, and that, that's why Luke killed Brink. Because there's, there's this underground hospital where they keep everybody in there. Who else would be told? Nobody. Don't say another fucking word about this. You hear me? So is he protecting his son? Or... Like, does he know about... Does he... I mean, obviously he knows about it, but, like, how much does he know? You know. Drop it. Hey, Polarity! Hey, Kevin! There you are. No, I'm, re I'm real. Prove it. How? What's the name of the stuffed animal I loved more than anything when I was little? I have no idea. What's your name? Dip top. How about dip, uh, dip top? How did I break dip my arm top. in second grade? Fuck, man, I don't know. Tell I'm me. I d on a bike. Who the fuck knows, man? What's the name? Waterworld. Waterworld? Jesus. I don't know what that is. Wait. You're real. Sort of scouting ahead. For what? For you. To get you out of here. Oh. Uh. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. Now he's no? not gonna want to go. Your brother sent me. 
Oh no. Luke? He did? Yes. He wants to get you out, so... That's gonna put him in a bad state of mind when he finds out. Good. I'm glad I could be useful to you. Oh, so useful. You're fantastic. Excuse me. Mm, so now, hopefully she knows that she's being used. Yeah. I actually think because of the enemies to friend, like this we enemies situation, campaign. I really want Jordan and Marie to be together. My parents were setting up the tent. My little brother kept kicking at my shins. So I grabbed him by the arm and I told him to go away and never come back. Oh no. So he did. I killed my grandpa with my powers. How'd they do that? No, you didn't. Yeah, I know. I was just feeling left out. Oh. <laughs> Everyone ever remembers is that he drinks his own pee, but it is about so much more than that. It's about being alone at the end of the world and finding your humanity. Are you talking about the movie? And drinking your own pee. <laughs> like Alice in Wonderland. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except with a lot more puke. Sorry, I don't... That's gross. <laughs> what? You're the furthest thing from gross. You're, uh... Pretty. You're pretty. Mm-hmm. It's about her roommate. Emma? Who the fuck is Emma? I is she okay? I think she's stuck. Stuck? <laughs> Where? In Anywhere. the woods. Laundry. I wonder how she figured out that, or they figured out that she was there. Yep. Fuck. Oh, damn. Is she, like, trap-trapped in there? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, this episode. This episode was so freaking good. Uh, this is probably my favorite episode so far. I really like... I really like Jordan. I really like Emma. Those are my two favorite people in this entire show. Oh, this was so good, this episode. Ah! And I'm, like, shipping so many people together. <sighs> Jordan and Marie, I think because they're so, like, like, you know, they have that thing. And then Sam and Emma, hello. And, oh, okay. I'm, like, hooked on this show now. Like, for sure hooked. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.